Hello, Chicago! My name is Stephen Thrasher. I'm a black gay man with a queer eye for a straight white guy named Bernie Sanders! And I'd like to tell you a story about why I feel so strongly about him. Picture it. Chicago, May 29th, 1983. A headline in the Tribune screams, AIDS, medical science grapples with a killer. For two years, a mysterious illness has befallen the most marginalized people in society. By 1983, scientists knew the deaths were being caused by a mysterious virus called HIV, but they didn't know how to stop it once it entered the body. And the nation waited anxiously as the virus moved mortally amongst us through New York and San Francisco, through Pilsen and Rogers Park. By the time the drugs were developed to stem the deaths a dozen years later, millions had died around the globe, thousands just here in Chicago alone. During those years, one of the most powerful forces against the hell the virus wreaked was the group ACT UP. No member of ACT UP was ever about me, they were always about us. ACT UP prioritized communal interpersonal care over rugged individualism. And while supporting one another, they changed modern medicine in ways that saved millions of lives. Many ACT UP activists, including some right here in Chicago, protested the private insurance racket. They put their bodies in danger to demand public universal health care for everyone. Amidst a viral pandemic, ACT UP knew our nation needed universal health care without strings attached to anyone, without an employer or without being married, because everyone deserves access to the tools of life. As ACT UP Zoe Leonard once told the writer Sarah Shulman, what AIDS revealed was not the problem of the virus, but rather the problems of our society. It was this fissure through which everything, all the ways in which our society wasn't working, became really clear. The sexism was clearly delineated, the racism was clearly delineated, the classism. Fast forward almost four decades, my friends. We are again living with the mysterious virus moving through the society. And once again, a virus is exposing all the ways our society isn't working. The coronavirus is exposing the moral indecency and rot of our private so-called healthcare industry. It is exposing the classism of a system which would let people get sick and die if that's what it took to keep profits high. And it is exposing the racism and sexism experienced by workers in service jobs in the gig economy who have no paid sick leave. The status quo has made our health precarious in so many ways. Our public health is precarious. And this crisis has exposed how few leaders in the United States believe that we have a responsibility to take care of one another. That we have a higher calling to a love with one another, with a love that is so supreme, with a love that is so supreme, it might mean the end of the billionaire class. The health of our LGBTQ people is still also too precarious. Even though there are now medications, the AIDS crisis continues because of greed, and our queer and trans loved ones face unacceptable health disparities. And the health of our press and journalists who run it is also too precarious. When we need it most, the Chicago Tribune, a great newspaper of this great city, is ailing and on the verge of financial ruin, not from a lack of talent, not from a lack of readers, but because it is being ravaged by a Wall Street equity firm. That's right. And the health of our students is also precarious, who, if they can even afford to get to college, are being sent into the world too often burdened with debt. So who can we trust in these times? For our physical health, can we trust status quo Joe Biden, who is, who is beholden to donations from the pharmaceutical companies in Wall Street that profit from our brain? No, we can trust Bernie Sanders, who is beholden to us, who is beholden to us and who wants full stop, everybody in, nobody out, Medicare for all! For queer and trans health, can we, sta can we trust status quo Joe? No. Who supported bans on gay marriage and military service in the 90s? No. no, we can trust Bernie Sanders who publicly supported us decades before it was convenient, just like he marched with the civil rights movement of the mid-20th century. 
for the health of our news media, can we trust status quo Joe? Who is beholden to deregulatory mad corporations? No, we can trust Bernie Sanders, who has a plan to fight the corporate assault on journalism and regulate the media consolidation oligarchs. For the, youth, for the health of our young people, can we trust status quo Joe? He's beholden to the very banks who want to keep them in debt, and he voted to send them to war to go overseas to kill other people, other young people. But we can trust Bernie Sanders, who voted against the Iraq War, and who wants to send all young people to college and to cancel all of their student debt. For the health of our planet, can we trust status quo Joe? But we can trust Bernie Sanders and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and a Green New Deal which will bring clean jobs, clean housing, clean water, and clean air to us all. And for the health of the Democratic Party and the United States of America, who can we trust? Bernie? 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 This man is so courageous that even though he lost family in the Holocaust of World War II, and even though someone tried to intimidate him with a Nazi flag just two days ago, He's out here with us. He's out here with us standing for racial justice and economic justice and environmental justice. He has the unique courage and compassion to bring all of us together to fight the, the related evils of anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, racism, xenophobia, and poverty. And he has asked us, are you willing to fight for someone you don't know? So for every worker who would be left out of Joe Biden's or Donald Trump's health care plans, fight. For every person who in prison who can't vote, fight. For every student who is drowning in debt, fight. For every patient who's, who's drowning in medical debt, fight. For every person who is homeless or about to be homeless who needs national rent control, fight. For every person who is at risk for AIDS or coronavirus or cancer who is made more vulnerable because they lack health, health insurance or housing, fight. Fight! Fight! And vote! Bernie Sanders! Uh, let me thank all those who have been up here speaking. Let me thank Dr. Stephen Thrasher.